Okay, I got it. It's been a while since some new compound or some new solution came up from to control Varroa destructor. But silver bullet, the new silver bullet against Varroa destructor. We need to have a chat. Welcome to InsideTheHive.tv, the show that takes you into the world of bees. I'm your host, Umberto Bon Cristiani. The last 10 days was just crazy. A new publication in Nature Scientific Reports claims that lithium chloride is able to kill Varroa destructor, the biggest beekeeping problem in the world. How exciting is this? It's very good news. And understand the bust, it's been around 25 years since the last uh, release of something that could help to control Varroa Destructor. But after read the paper and see all the social media comments, and I think we're crossing the line. We need to go over the paper first. Let's see what is that about. And then after that, let's have a chat. The whole story started with the mistake. The researchers were trying to use RNAi technology to control Varroa destructor and to produce RNA you need to use a lithium chloride at the end of the purification process. So somebody forgot to purify the RNA and that's the way lithium chloride end up in the bees food. Whoever made the mistake, great job. The beekeeping community appreciated. Thank you. The test was very simple and elegant. The researchers collected bees infested with mites, adult bees and phoretic mites only, separated in two groups, one feeding with sugar, or sugar water only, another group feeding with sugar water plus lithium chloride. And what they find was very striking. Take a look at this graph. As you can see here, the y-axis show mortality rate. Zero means everybody dead and one means everybody survived. The x-axis showed the amount of time observed, which was 7 days. The group of mite-infected bees fed only with sugar water survived very well. Both the bees and the mites. Red lines for mites, orange lines for bees. However, when lithium chloride was added to the sugar water solution, only the mites died. Green line shows bees and blue line shows mites. Very striking result. Well done. So the lithium chloride was able to be ingested by the bees, get spread systemically using the hemolymph, and the, and the mite ingested the lithium chloride and died. Perfect solution ever. However, observing the bees for seven days only looks like everything was fine, the bees were fine. However, when the bees were exposed for a longer period of time to lithium chloride, the results were very concerning. Take a look. As you can see here, bees were harmed when exposed to effective concentration of 25 millimolar of lithium chloride. Bees feeding only with sugar water survive around 35 days in a cage. However, when bees were fed with 25 millimolar of lithium chloride, they only survived for 25 days. That's a pretty big reduction, 10 days less. In bees lifetime, for a worker bees in summertime, this is like to take 24% of their life expectancy. That's pretty damaging. So, there is any way that we can avoid the toxic effect? Apparently, yes. The research has shown that if you give you only a 24 hour shot of lithium chloride, the bees are gonna be fine. Apparently, the toxic effect was gone. Apparently, the bees survive the same amount of time when you give only a 24 hour shot of lithium chloride. That's very good news here. There's a huge potential here. So, does lithium chloride work in field conditions? Does it work in a colony level? Maybe. Let's go over how they did the experiment and at the end, I wanna wrap this up with my, my thoughts. First, they collect bees infested with mites. So they put a lot of bees together and they separate in small groups, put a new queen in each of these groups 
put them in incubator for 24 hours to stabilize. After that, they put that in the field so they can start foraging. So that's when you have these small nooks of bees, and then they separate them in two groups. One, they're gonna feed with lithium chloride. Another one, they're gonna feed only with sugar water. And what they observed, they observed after three days that 90% of the mites was gone. That's fantastic, very striking results. In my opinion, we, we need to celebrate that because this is, that means there is a lot of potential here. I, and I said potential, I explain. In this case, we have absolutely no idea what happened with the brood. Lithium chloride can be very toxic. Lithium chloride is described as, as a compound that affected the brain cells and the nervous system. Uh, is FDA approved to use in humans to treat bipolar disorder, meaning we know for a fact that lithium chloride affects the brain. What happened with the bee's brain? We have absolutely no idea. What happened with the brood? What happened? Does lithium chloride go to the food? It contaminate the honey. What happened with the honey contaminated with lithium chloride if we ingested it? What happened with the larvae? There is a normal development. What happened with other pathogens under the influence of lithium chloride in the immune system? Does the lithium chloride influence the immune system? Can any pathogen take advantage of something uh, created by, by demonstration of lithium chloride? My point is, is that we know very little and all the social media was getting crazy and reading these posts, I saw people even starting to use it. I think this is so irresponsible and probably illegal. That, that's what, one of the reasons why I decided to make this short video because this can be dangerous, not only for your bees, but all the, also for your family. So please don't do it at home. So what's the take home message from this whole article? We have a couple of things that they, they, they were able to show. One, lithium chloride was able to spread systemically through the hemolymph and they might consume it and die. Great. Two, lithium chloride harmed the bees. That hurt the bees. But they found a way that if you give it only 24 hours shot, apparently the toxic effect was gone. Three, they apparently show that w there is a potential to work in field condition. So using mini hives but with no brood, no eggs, uh, apparently they were able to kill the mites and the bees were fine. So before I go, I would like to ask you your opinion about something. So after the third experiment, so the, the researchers already put the bees outside. They, pre they spend a lot of time and money preparing mini colonies and fed with it lithium chloride and after a week they, they they collect their data about the mite numbers and great if you if you were the researcher uh, would you follow up the bees after that everything was prepared so I don't see why I wouldn't follow up you know what I'm saying I, I'll be curious to see what happened with the bees after that are the bees better something happened with the brood uh, I'm, I'll be very curious to know about it. What do you think? Leave your comment in the section below. I'd love to know what you have to say. If you like this video, please hit the like button below and share with friends and family. I'm sure you know some beekeepers that's trying to use right now. So please share with that guy. I think it's important for everybody to know the consequences of such act. And yeah, leave your comment below. If you have questions, I'll try to address them as much as I can. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope this clarified things a little bit. And let me know your thoughts. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.